Hi, today we are going to talk about commutative property. Okay, so if a star b is equal to b star a, where a and b are all real numbers, okay, then the binary operation star is what commutative. That's all. Okay, so assuming we pick two real numbers a and b, and then we perform the operation star on them, whichever one comes first. If the results are the same, then we say the operation is what? Commutative. Alright, and the operation star can be addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, or any other binary operation. So, some of the basic commutative binary operations are what? Addition and subtraction. Okay? What we mean is that addition and subtraction of real numbers are what? Commutative. Okay? addition and subtraction of real numbers are what commutative for example if i pick two real numbers four and five okay whichever way i add them whether four five plus four or four plus five i'm going to get the same result nine okay doesn't matter the order therefore we say addition of real numbers is what commutative the same way if you pick two real numbers two and six you perform the operation multiplication on them whether 2 by 6 or 6 by 2 you are getting the same result 12 hence we say multiplication of real numbers is what commutative okay all right on the other hand subtraction and division of real numbers are not commutative okay simply because for example if you pick 3 and 2 you subtract 2 from 3 the result you are going to get is not the same as subtracting what 3 from 2 okay 3 minus 2 will give us what 1 and then 2 minus 3 will give us what negative 1 which are not the same therefore we say that subtraction of real numbers is not commutative the same way if you pick two real numbers 9 and 3 9 divided by 3 is given as what 3 and then 3 divided by 9 is given as what 1 third okay and these are not the same hence we say division of real numbers is not commutative all right so let's look at some other examples a binary operation is defined as x star y is equal to x plus y minus 2xy is the operation commutative good so to know whether this operation is commutative you have to check whether x star y is equal to y star x okay but likely we have already x star y in this form so let's quickly do for y star x okay so it means wherever we find x we are going to put y in the definition and then wherever we find y we are going to put what x so this is given as what y plus x minus 2yx and you know addition is commutative so this is the same as x plus y minus what 2xy which is the same as x star y okay they are all the same x plus y minus 2xy so since x star y is equal to y star x we can conclude that the operation star is what commutative the operation star is what commutative good Let's look at another example. If a star b is equal to 2a minus b, evaluate i 2 star 3 and then i i 3 star 2. Okay? And then is the operation commutative? So we have the question in two folds. So we first tackle the first part and then solve the i 2 star 3. Okay? So you just have to substitute these elements into the definition. Okay, the A is 2 and then the B is what? 3. So if you substitute, we are getting 2 times 2 minus 3, which is giving us what? 1. And then the second part, I, I, 3 star 2. Okay, in this case, the A is 3 and then the B is what? 2. So wherever we find A, we are putting 3 in this case, and then wherever we find B, we are putting what? 2. Okay, so let's substitute and then we simplify to get what? 4 good so we have answered the first part let's look at the second part is the operation commutative 
So for the operation to be commutative, 2 star 3 has to be equal to what? 3 star 2, okay? But when you look at 2 star 3, we got 1 and then 3 star 2, we are getting what? 4, which are not equal. So 2 star 3 is not the same as what? 3 star 2. Therefore, the operation star is not commutative, okay? There's another thing we need to look at, okay? Um, anytime you have a binary operation that is commutative, okay? Or if a binary operation is commutative, if you create a table, okay, the elements are always reflected about the leading diagonal. That's what we mean. So you have a binary operation nicely like this in the table. Let's cover the leading diagonal, okay? And you realize that the elements are reflected about the leading diagonal okay so the element this element over here if you reflect it to the other side is the same thing okay let's see over here too if you reflect it to the other side it's the same thing and then over here too if you reflect it it's the same thing that's what we mean okay so let's try and answer some few questions using this idea okay good so complete the table given that the binary operation star is commutative okay Good. So it's made known to rest that the binary operation is commutative. And then we know that if you have, if you create a table for a binary operation which is commutative, the elements are reflected about the leading diagonal. Okay. So if you cover the leading diagonal, the element over here has to be the same as the element over here. Okay. And so this one has to be what? 1. And then the element over here to the elements over here too are reflected about the leading diagonal and so the element over here has to be what five the same way the elements over here are reflected and then it has to be what three just simple as such okay good and then try this last one which of the following binary operations as commutative Alright, so pause the video and then use this idea to try and see. Good. So let's do it together and see. So let's pick the first one. We are saying that if the binary operation is commutative, the elements are reflected about the leading diagonal. So the first thing you have to do is that cover the leading diagonal, okay? And then reflect the elements about the leading diagonal. So you check and see. We have three over here. Let's cross and see whether we have 3 here. No, that is not true. Therefore, this binary operation is not commutative. Okay, good. All right, let's check the second part. So you cover the leading diagonal, okay, and then reflect the elements about the leading diagonal. And you see that the elements are nicely reflected about the leading diagonal. Hence, we conclude that this binary operation is what? Commutative. Okay? And this is what? Not commutative. Alright. So the whole idea of commutativity is when you pick two elements from a set, whichever way you perform an operation on them, if the results are the same, then the operation is commutative. Otherwise, the operation is not commutative. In the next video, we talk about associative property. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.